It's now been confirmed tonight that Raphael has completed his medical and signed for Leon. He now leaves Manchester United after a number of years at Manchester United. Best part of a decade at the club. And he's even though he's been injured quite a bit throughout all his time at Manchester United, still been a great servant, still played with his heart. Um, really given 110% every game. And absolutely delighted that he, he uh, become a Manchester United player because that's what Manchester United need. Players that really go out there and really play for the badge. Now, it is a shame that obviously the injuries have hampered him because uh, Fabio and Rafael were really taught as the, the next two Brazilian wonder, wonder stars at the back. Uh, being compared to, to Cafu and Roberto Carlos when they were coming through the ranks. Now, Fabio was actually taught as the better one uh, in the youth Brazil team. I think I think he was was the better one, scored some goals there, and he never really come off. Uh, as well as uh, Rafael, though he did play in the Champions League final against Barcelona, but Rafa, Rafael really he, he really did come to come to the uh, the promise when I think it was Sir Alex's Ferguson's last season where he really did have a great season. But apart from that, there was there was a number of seasons where. You thought, come on, get get your fitness up and get a run of games. And he just never did, unfortunately. And Louis Van Gaal seems to have got fed up with the injury record. Uh, he, he has been a bit rash over the years. But still, um, I'm delighted that he's a Manchester United player. Still got his shirt. Shirt that I got with Rafael on the back. It's uh, an old, um, quite an old one now uh, that, I had, that I had when, when he uh, started coming good. Uh, just real shame that he couldn't get that consistency in his... Uh, amount of games that he could play, but it, it, I mean, he, he, if he can stay fit, he will definitely do Leon a great job. I'm sure of that. Uh, but it seems now that Manchester United, as they've signed Darmian, it seems that Valencia is going to probably be the backup to Darmian uh, because Darmian's looked fantastic on the pre-season. So that's where I see it. I know Louis Van Gaal did say that Darmian is going to be the second choice there, but I think he just meant the second. Uh, man for that position so it will be Valencia and Darmian for that right back position fighting it out which I mean uh, I, I mean Valencia didn't do a bad job there last season but had Rafael continued to stay fit he, he could have done a great job I mean he, he scored some great goals for Manchester United uh, there was a great one against Liverpool and a, a screamer against QPR a few years ago so uh, I know there was other goals where he, a few other goals where he scored so his goal scoring record is as far as the right back goes, was quite decent actually. He used to get two or three, at least two or three, or four goals a season, so that wasn't bad. Uh, but just couldn't get that consistency in his game. But if he can at Leon, he'll be he'll be a great asset to them. So it's a shame that he's had to leave. But we wish you well. In other news, obviously Di Maria uh, is obviously off to to PSG. Uh, I couldn't care less less what happens to him. He's just. Um, quit he's just took the easy route out gone gone off to an easier league where he win the championship win probably the, the French Cup there and whatever not and probably get to the quarterfinals of the Champions League but if he wants an easier easier time of it there the going got tough at Manchester United and he just walked out so good riddance to you get shot of him hopefully we will get Pedro in as well so that I think that will be a decent signing because he scores a lot more goals than than Angel Di Maria, and I, th I think that will be be somewhere where we do need to improve, uh, because last season we didn't score enough goals. So, and he can play all along the front front of the uh, the attack. So, if Wayne Rooney is out, maybe he could even come in as a, a second striker for Wayne Rooney. We we'll have to see there. He, he did play a lot of games actually last season. He featured in 50 of Barcelona's games. I know a lot of them probably were substitute appearances as well. And obviously Luis Suarez didn't start the season, but he still scored 11 goals. Some of the other seasons, he's actually scored sort of 16 league goals. I was looking at uh, some some seasons where he scored about 23 goals in all competitions. So that is quite good statistics there. So hopefully he can come here, get us about 15, maybe 16 goals in all competitions even. And that will be a fantastic return. I think he could do a better job probably than Ashley Young. I know Ashley Young looks like he's going to sign a new contract. But hopefully there will be some new signings in the coming days. Still looking, really hoping that we're going to get another centre back. It's looking a bit unlikely now that the Ramos room has died off. Whether he's actually signed a new contract yet, we still don't know. But we'll have to wait and see there. 
Uh, obviously, there's other other bullshit news where we've been linked again with with Gareth Bale. But I really don't see that happening. If that happens, I'll be absolutely shocked. That really will be a shock signing. But I'm not too sure there is going to be many shock signings now. I think Pedro will come in, and hopefully, I'm um, fingers crossed there'll be a centre back. But I'm not really sure. I've got a feeling Pedro probably will be our last signing. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the rest of the transfers, uh, ins, outs. Uh, are you happy to see Rafael go? I mean, uh, was he a great servant? I mean, obviously he doesn't really go down as a legend. But played with his heart on his sleeve. Played for a number of years, about eight years. Gave great service to the club when he did play. Just let me know your thoughts. And we'll be back again later on in the week to preview the Tottenham uh, versus Manchester United game. And just look ahead generally to how Man how we think Manchester United are going to do in the coming season. I should have with me Joey for that. So uh, make sure to stay subscribed to the channel for that. And we will talk to you all again soon. See ya.